It's spooky season, bitches. Good morning. I'm starting my day with the green juice and some editing. Hi, y'all. Um, I don't know how this Vlogtober is about to go. I'm praying that um, I can just get myself back on track so that I could get this content out for y'all as promised. Um, after we went to the Murders Place Plantation, I just started not feeling well. My throat was hurting really, really bad. Um, I started like coughing up a lot of mucus constantly. Um, I don't feel shortness of breath. My nose is not stopped up. I don't have a fever. I was just really, really hot. Like, <laughs> I can't even explain it. I was sweating underneath the covers. And then as soon as I took the covers off of me, I was like freaking freezing. And we were supposed to like paint some pumpkins and stuff like that just so I could make sure I could get my content out. But I just have been feeling so under the weather and it was just so quick so um i'm here at like after hours now about to go in and ask for a covid test um i'm vlogging this because when i do put the vlog together like this was a part of my vlog but this was what took place i would love to have went home and done the pumpkins and the different videos that i had intended to do but prioritizing my mental health and my physical health over YouTube. Yes, I want to grow my channel and I want to pump this content out. But today is October 4th. We still have a whole month of October. The videos, trust me, will leave me as soon as I'm feeling better. They're going to get up. The paint right there, y'all. Like, I was planning on doing what I said I was going to do. But I got to take care of me first. So I'm about to go in here and just Hopefully they tell me, oh, it's just a little sinus infection or a little cold, and they can send me on by my way. I can rest up, hydrate, eat, and be ready to go before the end of the week is out because I don't want to miss that many days Um, because I already have my planner filled out with what video is going to go up on what days and right now this is setting me off track because I didn't even have the energy to, come, to create the content that I wanted to create, so... Hopefully, everything goes well when I go in here, fingers crossed, and I'll let y'all know what it is. If you've been tuned in to my channel, you can probably recognize this place. This is where I came to get tested at before we went to Jamaica. Um, and I'm back, this time under di different circumstances. All right, y'all, so I filled out all the information they told me to fill out. They told me to go wait in my car and then they'll call me to come in to uh, get my test done. Um, like I said, I feel okay pretty much. It's just my throat is bothering me and the mucus like every few minutes, I'm coughing up slim. Um, I do suffer from sinuses and stuff, so I am paying attention to the color of my phlegm, the thickness of it. When you deal with that kind of stuff, especially during a pandemic, you learn to like really look at your symptoms and know like what's normal um, and what's not normal for you. Like I said, um, I just been coughing up phlegm. I don't feel, other than being really hot, this feels like a, a sinus infection. But to take safety precautions, I'm gonna get tested. Go ahead and pull down your mask. It's under your tongue. Okay. 
so feeble. Hmm? No, no fever. fever now. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Just uncross your ankles. Okay. Your name is Shailen? Shailene. Oh. Yeah. I have Shailene. a friend named Shailene. <laughs> okay. And okay, so side so both nostrils. Just one, two, three. Other side. One, two, three. That's it. <laughs> we'll be right back in the bed results. We'll take about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. I'm not we late. Good morning, y'all. Um, it's like seven something, like early. So clearly, I'm feeling better because these last few days, I haven't even been able to get up out of the bed. But this morning, I woke up at like six thirty. Um, I just felt the need to like clean my room like because I hadn't been feeling well I had like tissues all on the side of the bed just wanted to get up and freshen up my space and then why am I walking around like this um I made me a little green juice that I got in the freezer because I'm about to stretch for a little minute my body is telling me I need it like I'm aching um and yeah I clearly I'm just feeling so 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 much better because the fact that i'm out the bed like i still as you if you can hear it um am not fully back to myself but i do feel a million times better like y'all all of this for a sinus infection i found out because uh if i didn't say it in the other videos that i recorded uh my COVID test came back negative. So it's just my sinuses and my allergies is going haywire. We're kind of in this little funny area of the season where it's starting to cool off. It's starting to cool off. Um, and then it's been raining here. So just the transition of the seasons, it always throw me off. And I figured that. But just because of the times that we live in, I just had to go get tested to be sure. And of course, it came back negative. They gave me some Claritin, some nose spray. It's always, and already, it's working. Like, I that's I knew that. I should have just went bought me some Zyrtec, but had to be on the safe side. Um, when my sinuses and my allergies start acting up, baby, it's not nice. It's not nice. All this be swollen. I was in pain. I couldn't talk. My nose kept draining. Like. <coughs> I'm still spitting up cold, <sighs> post-nasal drip, like, it's ridiculous, it's nasty, <laughs> but this is every year with me, so I knew it, I, I, I knew it, but just had to be safe, had to play the precautions, but I'm feeling better, I got a lot of energy right now, so like I said, I'm finna stretch. work on some school work edit for y'all so i could get some content up because the video was supposed to go up yesterday which was on monday i had like this spooky story time plan for y'all i could barely even talk yesterday so that video wasn't gonna go up so i'm gonna um edit something real quick so i could get it up for vlogtober because that look one two three days of sickness really kind of threw me off but I'm not counting my November 5th, my nigga. I'm November 5th. October 5th. I'm not counting myself out. It's like 
October 5th. So we still got a whole full month of content we could get. You know what I'm saying? I'm um I'ma still follow my calendar as usual, especially starting next week. Like we back at it following the can the calendar like as it is this week was just a little wonky because i didn't feel well but i'm still gonna get some content up before friday like i'm not gonna even tell y'all what's on my calendar because i have a tendency of not sticking to the calendar but we are really really gonna try <laughs> um i'm just praying i don't get sick no more this month so i could go hard like i plan to go hard and yeah I'm feeling better, y'all, so let me stretch. um i don't have a desk yet in my house i'm working towards it because i hate doing any type of editing or homework anything from my bed i just feel like it keeps me in a lazy um excuse my nose i'm gonna get them done soon but it just keeps me in a lazy mindset like i would prefer to sit in my bed i mean on the floor i would prefer to sit on the floor i feel like when i'm in my bed i just get sleep sleepier faster and I don't have the energy to keep, like, working as much as I would if I was, like, at the library or something like that. Um, I'm, com uh, I'm coming to the end of my first semester. I'm an online student um, at Southern University, if you didn't know. So, how we do it is um, we do eight-week semesters. So, from August to, like, October 6th. I only had one class and it was dumb easy, um, but I needed that little like kind of mental break and like not being super stressed out. And then from October 11th to like December 12th ish, maybe is my second eight weeks. Uh, and then that's when I start my um, other set of classes and I start my other set of classes in which I will be taking psycho learning psychology of learning psychological testing uh what else am I taking my service learning that's required for me to graduate and I think I'm taking victimology just a quick little elective to satisfy my elective needs girl look at my do-rag ain't even on right um and yeah, that'll be my second eight weeks. So right now, I'm just about to work on my final paper. Because my final paper, even though the class is over, my final paper is due Sunday. So I'm just going to work on that for a little while. Yeah, I'm going to just get some work out the way. Uh, I usually like to use the, uh, I forget his name, the Italian guy method. So it's like I work in 25 minute increments and then I give myself a five minute break. So I'm not like experiencing burnout through the day. And yeah, I'm about to start rambling and get started because I need to get started. The fuck? Felt a pain in my chest for all the suffering that had been endured due to men having to control over a woman. And I grew angry that in that moment it was so painful and the moment was so strange. That in the year 2021, the debate over if a woman has the right to terminate her fetus for whatever reason was still ongoing. So y'all, I'm almost done with my paper. I have like one paragraph left and then I could do my citing page my work cited 
and then I could do my work cited page. Um, basically, our final project was basically like just write a four to eight page paper on a current topic that's going on in, in the United States in relation to our textbooks. So I chose chapter three which covered um the bill of rights and just how certain laws um got added to the constitution and what took place for certain laws to get codified or um basically like rewritten with like little side notes basically so um the actual topic that i chose was the ban on abortion in Texas. If you didn't know, Texas banned abortions for women um, at six weeks. And they also made it uh, legal to sue private individuals who assist in helping women get abortions after six weeks. So if you helped plan the abortion, if you gave information to a woman to about where to get an abortion at, um if you drop the woman off or schedule a pickup and dr or drop off like you can be sued by the state or civilly so civically so like the guy that got the woman pregnant and so now they're making it as to if a man find out that her best friend helped her plan to get the abortion, he can sue her and the state can sue her. She can get sued, fined up to $10,000 or face like actual jail time for assisting that person with getting the abortion. Anybody. But I just wanted to give y'all a little example. So I thought that shit was bogus and that's what I wanted to do my report on because I just feel like it's always a man that's telling a woman something about her fucking body like at 6 weeks a lot of people don't even know they're pre don't even know that they're pregnant you just missed your fucking period officially like you probably haven't even started experiencing symptoms yet you're not even deep in your first trimester hold on <laughs> you probably don't even have symptoms yet you not even deep into your first trimester um your body isn't experiencing any changes at six weeks you're probably not even showing so most women really don't know that they're pregnant at six weeks and it's like it's just not enough time furthermore they're saying like if a baby has a heartbeat well technically a baby at six weeks is still an embryo and it technically can't have a heartbeat but if it picks up a heartbeat then and it's within the six weeks, like, you can't get an abortion. It doesn't make exceptions for incest or rape because whichever one of the fucking politicians, I can't think of his name, made a dumbass comment about, oh, um, rape isn't important enough to be able to terminate a pregnancy because he has a plan to catch all rapists, which we've seen that, if anything, more laws have changed in the favor of rapists and people that commit incest. Like, there's nothing that's ever really done um about this shit like a lot of times rape victims get like a lesser charge than people that didn't like slung a dime bag or two like it's just it's not adding up and it's like it's just like y'all want to have control over our minds and bodies again y'all damn near want this to be the 1950s where like bitches ain't have no control over they nothing like man control the finances he control the house he could whoop your ass he could do whatever he want to do to you and like that's just that women didn't have any rights like y'all might as well fucking revoke our right to vote like that's what that's what it's giving like and i don't understand why it's your fucking business you don't have a vagina you don't bleed every month if you get pregnant nine times out of ten you a man you could jump jump state jump city shit you could just move around the corner and act like that fucking woman and that baby don't exist but it's the woman that usually has to do the child rearing she got to carry that baby and she got to raise that baby whether you there or not most of the time so it's just like why is that y'all decision Furthermore, on top of that, the governor talking about, oh, the Bible says we're supposed to be here to, you know, populate the fucking world. And it's just like, yeah, my nigga, but by choice, like if you want to, nobody should have to, nobody should be able to force you to have a child that you don't want or you can't afford to take care of. And to double down on that, y'all want people to bring fucking kids here to save y'all fucking race. 
to save y'all race because we all know y'all not populating the way y'all fucking should and studies have already shown that these people are going to be the minority real soon so it's really like a play to help them in all type of ways like in my mind that's how i feel but to not get off topic because i already know i'm fucking rambling um yeah like y'all trying to force these people to have these babies but the benefits are not rolling in baby um wages are not going up cost of living is steady going up but wages is still here or going down my nigga um y'all don't want to get nobody no food stamps y'all judge women who's on public assistance y'all judge them if they not on public assistance and choosing to struggle y'all not is putting these niggas on child support y'all not really for enforcing it making sure they come through on that shit i heard niggas supposed to be going to jail and they don't pay their child support they got motherfuckers around here with 20 years worth of back pay the, the courts ain't touch them so it's just like y'all not doing nothing to remedy the situation right now to make it like okay i have this baby i know that if if the nigga ain't got me the state got me the government got me and it's like it's almost like damn if you do damn if you don't you try to get rid of it the whole fucking world is trying to send you to jail you keep it and you struggling and it's like oh damn you should have chose better my nigga she wanted to get an abortion like and you didn't made this shit illegal N furthermore you're gonna force women to go get illegal abortions again going across state lines to get abortions like it's just too much when you could just really mind your fucking private area in which we ain't got the same one so really you shouldn't be speaking on it would it be cool if i if if kamala harris got with all her bitches and was like you know what today we're gonna make it mandatory at 18, all y'all niggas got to get a vasectomy, whether you want it or not. After two kids, you can only get a vasectomy. You got to get a vasectomy. Or whatever that shit called for the men. What is it called when they get their balls clipped and clicked? Because if that was the case, Future should have been first on the list, my nigga. Followed by Nick Cannon. Young boy. It's a couple more, y'all, that should have been first on y'all should have been the trial run like for birth control as well like y'all niggas should have been the guinea pigs because that's who y'all need to be fucking micromanaging instead of you micromanaging my box micromanage these niggas who run around here making 25 fucking kids yeah like let, let's do that and it's not even just wealthy niggas it's niggas in the hood like literally got 12 fucking kids 16 different baby mamas you do the math like but nobody's controlling their area nobody's controlling their box telling them what they can and can't do making shit illegal like let's make that fucking illegal if you get more than five women pregnant bitch you gotta go to jail you gotta pay a ten thousand dollar fine like i think that would do more good for the world than you betting abortions right and it's like y'all know me i can't do nothing if i'm not passionate about it obviously clearly i feel a way about it so what a perfect way to get my thoughts and opinions out than a school paper like I hope she actually read this shit. It's deserving of an A because I said a lot of good shit. Like, nigga talk about, oh, we supposed to be here to replenish children. Like, that's what we're supposed to be here for. But y'all not taking care of the millions of fucking kids that's in the foster system now. It's like, what are you doing for the women who are pregnant right now? Y'all not giving them no assistance. Like I said, cost of living is stagnant. But, I mean wages are stagnant but cost of living is steady going up niggas can't afford health care dental care vision care no none of that you hear me like niggas could barely get medicaid okay and food stamps y'all being stingy with fucking food stamps my nigga but you want women to study have kids you got kids in foster's homes who are gonna be there until they fucking age out and turn 18 and then they just on the fucking streets you got kids who bounce around from home to home like and instead of y'all trying to help them get them kids out the system find somewhere for them to go you forcing women to bring more fucking kids here who don't want kids everybody is not built to be a parent you get what i'm saying just because you can have them motherfuckers don't mean you shit in case in point old girl who just got on tv crying talking about my baby i just want my baby to come home whole time she didn't kill her fucking baby but they got a woman somewhere that know like i ain't mentally stable to have no fucking kid bro i want to get rid of this fucking kid but you just told her she can't so now in two years when that little baby come up dead, everybody gonna be like, damn, she shouldn't have had no baby. My nigga, she tried not to have that motherfucker and you forced her to. 
everybody ain't built to be no parent just because you can make them motherfuckers don't mean you should have them and i feel like if it's an option for birth control if it's an option for abortion let them motherfuckers get it so that we don't have more of that so we don't have more kids that are here out of spite so that we don't have more kids that are being abused and stuff because their parents wasn't ready for them and they didn't want them to begin with like i just feel like mind your pussy mind your business like if that's what she want to do, that's her business. You're not going to help take care of them. Just like you want these motherfuckers to be here so bad, but y'all not doing nothing to help these women take care of these fucking kids. The baby daddy, nor the state, nor the government. Bitch, the least you could do is if they're a single mother, they get free housing. Bitch, do something since you want them here so motherfucking bad. But yet, you're going to judge them if they're struggling, right? Right. It just don't make sense. It don't. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna wrap my paper up. I just want to chit and chat with y'all for a little second. Jenkins had for a point after. 